I'm seeing some stunted plants with yellowing, poor root development, no nodulation in the field today while looking at beans. I'm trying to figure out what is going on. So if you look here, there is a very striking difference between these two rows. So over here, we have plants that have eight to nine nodes. They are in full bloom. And over here, we do have beans that are blooming. We're only seeing about four nodes on them. Very short, yellowed plants. Just, just don't look very healthy at all. So what you can see is these beans have very, this one has a lot of nodes actually right here, but the inner node spacing is very shortened. They're stacked right on top of each other. These plants do not look healthy. Lots of yellowing. The root development is so poor on these plants that I can pull them straight up out of the ground. You can see that the roots do not look healthy. They're discolored and brown. Not a lot of root growth coming off the main root. No nodulation whatsoever. So we know nitrogen is not being fixed on these plants. This plant does have a few nodules. And the way to check a nodule is, so if you pull that off and you break it open, if it is gray and discolored, we know that it is not fixing nitrogen. If it is healthy and pink, it will look like pink hemoglobin that's in our blood. And we will know if that plant is fixing nitrogen or not. This field is extremely sandy. It's irrigated. It is well known for having soybean cyst nematode, lance nematode, lesion nematode, and several others that have been sampled in the past. And these are very common characteristics of nematodes. So seeing shortened plants, seeing yellowing, shortened inner nodes, not seeing the typical growth you would, not seeing nodulation, overall root development being impeded. With cyst, we would see cyst starting to form on the soybean root. So we'd have a big cyst growing here. We're not seeing that right now. So we're going to have to send these off and see what type of nematode we are having trouble with this year. The way to get around and to mitigate nematode problems is to rotate your crop. And if you have nematodes that affect both corn and beans, maybe you need to switch to a, a different crop. Maybe you need to do a cover crop. There are several cover crops that help suppress nematodes. You just need to see what variety of nematodes what species they are good at suppressing. It may be something that you need to put it into grass for a few years if it is severe enough. Depending on what the nematode population is and what the threshold levels are, you could start to see significant yield loss in the field. In this particular field, we're just seeing occasional issues where it might be two or three rows where we're seeing shortened stunted plants but there are pockets all across the field. So we are going to have to sample this. We're going to take soil samples and plant samples so we can send those off to the lab and see what nematode species are in the roots. We will look at the roots itself, see what kind of symptoms we're seeing and look at the plant characteristics as well and try and figure out what nematodes we're having issues with this year, how we are going to move forward and treat those for next year. There's not anything we can really do right now in season. We are more trying to prevent them from being more of a problem next year.